everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i am filming a product fails video when it comes to makeup usually i don't have a lot of like fail products to talk about so i've never actually filmed a video like this before i've never filmed just a solidly like negative video but i would like to say before we start that just because i don't like these products doesn't mean that you won't like them this is just based on my like personal preference for makeup and also my skin type is different so if it's like a base makeup kind of product that might be why my skin type is like oily by the way if you're wondering not horrifically oily just a little bit oily a lot of this makeup is actually like five six seven years old and i went through my old makeup just to kind of get rid of things i'm the kind of person that would always like hold on to things like that because i think oh one day i'll use this lipstick or one day i'll use this um I don't know contour thing and actually probably is best not to use it because it's probably extremely expired and got low bacteria on it so i've decided to get rid of some stuff and quite a lot of these products i'm getting rid of i actually don't like anyway which is quite funny because i've kept it for so long but i've got like a box of things um in here and i'm just gonna get through them there isn't i'm not gonna make this video too long i don't want to be too negative either um because you know i'm the kind of person that likes to look for the positives in everything hence why i have kept this stuff for so long i always try and look for the positives in situations because you know you're just a happier person if that's the kind of person that you are and that's the things that you do first of all we have this so this is a like makeup sponge now i don't know whether i bought this or got sent it i don't know i think i did actually buy this and i'm pretty sure it would have been cheap because i wouldn't have spent that much money on it but i thought that it would be like the normal beauty blender or the real technique sponge that's the one i normally get where it expands when you add it to water and no it doesn't it stays this exact same shape and that's just really hard and horrible like you're whacking your face with like a brick or something like this is what is this i don't know like this is just not good if it doesn't expand in water then it's just not a good product but again if you've used this and i'm using it wrong then please let me know so the next kind of fail ish product is this from the body shop this is their concealer i'm not sure exactly what it's called and i'm not sure what shade mine is in either that's extremely helpful but it's like a hydrating concealer and it kind of had like it, it is empty now it's ran out but it kind of had like the concealer around the outside of the stick and then like a little kind of hydrating thing in the middle i don't know what i'm on about but it was just too dewy for me and that's not the fault of the product that's just my fault i don't think i actually bought this i think or maybe i did buy this i'm not sure but yeah i'm just not into the fact that it's hydrating it wasn't that good coverage anyway i kind of like my concealers to be full coverage because what's the point in using a concealer if it's not going to cover well because that is the purpose of a concealer so yeah was not a massive fan of that this so this is from candy cosmetics this is a pre glow up mist basically these were all the rage like two years ago or more probably and it's like a little shimmer mist thing and basically this just leaves glitter over your face when it comes to products like this they need to be so finely milled like the shimmery bits need to be so finely milled that when it goes over your face it's just making your skin look glowy not actually glittery so yeah i wasn't too keen on this like it wasn't bad or anything like it was fairly decent but overall I wasn't keen on it and yeah although i did use quite a lot of it that's because i'm the kind of person that's not going to waste product um i did get this in a glossy box as well but yeah you can either pop it on before your makeup which i would recommend because if you pop this on after your makeup you're gonna get like glitter all over your face ah we've actually got a concealer from the body shop that i did like so if you're looking for a concealer from the body shop that is really full coverage and not super super dewy then get this one and this is the full coverage concealer and mine's in the shade number 10 and that's clay so this is not a fail product if you do not want this dewy thing then get this one this is very good i have this product which is from beauty big bang i think yeah beauty big bang they sent me this and a few other bits and i don't like to be negative when you know people send me stuff like brands and stuff but then again i also want to be honest and this was a very long time ago i don't like this product because it makes your lips look super super pale also it's a matte liquid lipstick and i'm not entirely sure what oh no it's in the shade peachy nude and yeah it was just too pale for my lips i did not like the color 
Also the actual formula itself I didn't like. It was a matte liquid lipstick and if you rubbed your lips together it would look really like cakey on the lips and like bits coming off like it was not good and it wouldn't last very long and I just did not like it basically. When you put a matte liquid lipstick on A you want it to last a long time and B you don't want it to start kind of peeling off by itself you know you're not even eating anything yet you've not even drank anything yet and it starts peeling off so yeah I did not like that I also decided to get rid of this lipstick which is from Lottie London and it's like a purpley kind of lipstick and the reason why I decided to get rid of this was a because it's really old and probably expired and also it's just not something that I reach for or wear because of the shade and because of the color it's just not really like my typical color maybe in autumn times I will like venture out and try and wear like more purple shades because that's what you do in autumn but this is just not my cup of tea and I thought you know what this is so old that I should probably throw it out so that's what I'm doing. The next product I have is this from the body shop this is the fresh nude tinted beauty balm and this is in the shade medium fair number two. Now this could be a product that you might really enjoy or really like but it's just not like something for me. I am the kind of person that if I'm gonna wear makeup, I'm gonna wear makeup. I'm gonna wear like full coverage foundation and just do everything. Or I will just wear no makeup. I can happily go out, leave the house, do whatever without makeup on. But I'm not the kind of person that does half and half because I actually think that looks worse than just wearing nothing. I'm just not that kind of person. And yeah, I don't like this because First of all, the coverage is not great. Also, it's very um, hydrating. It does say it has hydrating aloe vera in it and also SPF. A lot of the time when foundations have SPF in them, they can be a little bit on the like shinier side, but some foundations are great for that. But yeah, this one is hydrating, which means that it doesn't go great with my oily skin. So I'm not like the hugest fan of this. And also the shade medium number two is too dark for my skin. It's quite orangey toned and it just makes me look a little bit, you know, orange, which is not the greatest. But I do look quite pale today, I do have to say. Am I looking quite pale on the camera? Am I? I don't know. Um, maybe I do need this, but no. Yeah, this is just a little bit too dark and I just did not really like it. It's not my cup of tea, but it would be somebody's. That is the point. Oh, also, this is something that I did get sent kind of recently, but not really, like a month, two months ago, maybe. I got sent a bunch of candles and I did a video on them and I really love the candles and the smell of them and the look of them, like the aesthetic. I did a whole vlog as well showing each candle. I am only including it in this video because of how long the candle lasts. Now the look of it, the smell of it is amazing but I literally burned this for a few days and it was already done so I don't know if the wax is just so like, what's the word, it's so like meltable, like it melts really quickly because it just goes straight down to the bottom, melted and all of the wax around the outside cannot be melted because the wick has gone to the bottom. So it's just a waste of that kind of excess wax, which I don't like. I hate it when candles do that because A, I've wasted my money, even though I did get sent this, but B, the candle just, isn't it satisfying when a candle burns all the way to the bottom? I literally have a candle just here and literally all of the bottom is just wax melted wax at the minute I kind of need to throw that out because it is basically at the bottom that has melted all the way down and it was literally a 50p candle so yeah we happened to wait up here I just I'm putting this in this video because it just burned way too quickly and it didn't burn all of the wax but packaging is nice and yeah the smell is nice but sorry little guy I'm gonna have to say that you're all a no thank you Okay, I've got a couple of concealers and one of them I have no idea of the brand, which is not good. Um, all I know is it's in the shade Cool Sand. It's in the shade Cool Sand, that's all we know. I don't know the brand, it's rubbed off, but I remember not liking this because it was really cakey. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I can't tell you the brand, so it's pointless information. But yeah, it was just cakey as hell and didn't go on top of foundation very nicely and it just creased really quickly. So didn't like that. And we have another concealer, which um, again, I don't know the brand of. Um, I think it's one of those ones where I just picked it off Amazon for like less than a pound, super cheap. And coverage, this has zero. If anything, it takes coverage away. It is so, so, so watery that when I apply this on top of foundation, it literally takes my foundation off as well because of how liquidy it is in terms of like the watery consistency. So I don't like this product. And maybe you'd like it if, 
yeah look maybe you would like it if you're the kind of person that really likes super light coverage and you just had this by itself but it is so 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 watery it's disgusting <laughs> so if you see something that looks like this on amazon don't buy it okay we are approaching near the end so this is the steve lauren little like rose gold loose powder now the reason why i don't like this and i think i did get this in a glossy box is because look at that like that is such a mess like it just falls out everywhere like how can you use this product without wasting half of the part every single time you use it which obviously does not mathematically make sense because then you would have used the because then you would have wasted the pot after a day but yeah this is this is just not good it's just messy and also what is it for like what do you use this for like highlighter or eyeshadow like i have no idea and i don't like products like this when it's loose powders but it's super messy so yeah not a fan at all and yes now i've got glitter shimmery stuff all over me so yeah do not like oh great also on the kind of similar vibe to that this is the little mix makeup so this is like their little like makeup range that they do i have had this for quite some time but this is a glitter pot in the shade deeper oceans they probably don't sell it anymore oh good lord why did i do that this is literally exploding everywhere my legs have got loads of blue on them now um we're just going to pop the lid back on. I think that speaks for itself as to why I don't like this because it just goes everywhere. It's just messy. Why do these products have to be like this? Can't you just press it like a pressed pigment into a palette instead? Because you can have glitter in an eyeshadow palette and it's still just as pigmented. Please, like, just look how messy that is. So yeah, oh, great, I'm covered. Okay, now we have this. So this is the, oh God, is it M's? Oh, Emco Beauty. I was going to say MCO Beauty. It's Emco Beauty. And this is a eyeliner, I think. Doesn't say on the thing. Um, I know what I don't like about this is it has zero pigmentation. I'm, I snapped it. I snapped it. I was pressing that hard. It's gone down my sleeve. Oh my God. This is such a fail video, which is good because that's what the title of the video is. If it's gone down my sleeve and it's not come back, Okay, it's come out. Here it is. Um, yeah, don't like this because it's not pigmented in any way whatsoever. Um, so yeah, zero pigmentation and it snaps if you try and get any pigment. So yeah, don't like that. So these are not fail products, but they are just something that I don't particularly like as much. These are two eyeliners and I am gonna get rid of them. I might even give them to my mum or something because they are full products. It's just the shades that I'm not massively keen on. So we've got like a reddy kind of shade and then a more pinky shade. They are also lip liners that you have to pencil sharpen. And I don't, I don't vibe with that kind of thing because it ends up snapping off and never getting sharpened properly. I like lip liners where you you twist it up and they're the ones that I use and love so yeah that's why I don't like these so the final thing are these so I do like these like they are nice in a way I just don't see like the purpose of this kind of product and that is just my personal taste so this one is the body shop mint mattifying face mist and this one is the body shop rose dewy glow so the complete opposite of each other this one is probably more suitable to my skin like is this a setting spray or is this just something you spray onto your face because I am not the kind of person that uses sprays just on my face alone without any makeup or anything I am here for a primer spray and a setting spray I don't just randomly spray products like this on my face during the day because like why oh my host has come to uh, say hello he's not just casually walked up the stairs he's drinking out of his water bottle hey family say hey everyone and um, so yeah don't like those for that reason and also they run out really really quickly and um yeah but they, they were nice so um i feel a little bit rude popping those in yeah that is everything for this video my kind of fail products in terms of makeup sorry if i was really negative but then again this is the aim of the video so why did you click on it but thanks for watching please subscribe for more content on my channel i will see you next week on wednesday at 9am and hope you have a good weekend goodbye <laughs>